Hi, I'm Liz. Welcome to my channel, Making It Easy with Liz. Today we're going to make my boho chic ring. This is done in 18 gauge dead soft copper wire. This would look really nice in sterling silver. I don't recommend that you use uh, regular craft wire um, like uh, uh, the enameled wire, colored wire, because we're going to be hammering on this and that will break the enamel seal and craft wire never turns out to be a really dependable ring. It's okay for like a one day thing or you know something like that but they're for fun rings yes give it a try but for something to last or as a gift I would not do it. Um, this is super super simple I love it it's kinda got a band uh, kind of look about it. Um, it's quite substantial and the shank is very strong. Now you're not going to get a really super round circle here because of all of this stuff up here. It causes this to sort of bow out a little bit, but don't worry about it. It fits beautifully and you're going to love it. So let's go ahead and get started. I have 22 inches of 18 gauge dead soft wire here and um, if you want a larger ring I would use 24 inches, but don't go any less than 22. Um, you might, you'll have a little bit of wastage, that's okay, you just need to get used to that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to begin by taking our wire and bringing our two ends together and slipping it on the top of our mandrel like so and give it a little pull and that will give us the center of our wire. Okay, so now we're going to just go and we're going to wrap it around our mandrel three times. like so. So we have either wire sticking straight out from the sides like so. Eyeball it and make sure it's even, pretty even. If it's not, like I think I have a little bit more on this side, just push down on this side a little bit and pull up on this one until you see that it's even. And we want to keep our wires nice and smooth throughout as much as we possibly can. Okay, the reason why I start up here is because um, if I started down here on the size I wanted, my ring can expand and then I end up with a ring that's too big. So what I like to do is start it up here and then I just scooch it on down. Now I want a size 8 ring, but what I want my ring to lay on here when I'm done is a 9. Because of all of the layers of wire on the top, it adds um, bulk in the, it fills in the uh, inner, inner circumference there. So you're going to end up with a ring that's one size bigger than what you're looking for. So I'm going to start it on my nine and see by by, by uh, tightening that up and scooching it on down this isn't going to fall, it's not going anywhere, it's staying right where I need it to be. Okay, so we're going to bring our wires together and over just like that so that they are laying on, on their perspective sides here. Okay, so now we're going to take our wires and we're going to just pull and give it a quick little twist. Alright, try not to bend up your wires if you do, then just go ahead and smooth them out with your fingers. Now see how that, how nicely that is? So we're going to just continue that around. I'm going to bring this one this way. We're going to make a spiral and this one in this direction. So we're running both wires counterclockwise and if you've got a little bump there go ahead and give it a little tap to flatten that out. Right Now 18 gauge wire we're going to get a nice tight spiral but we can't make it too big because what happens is we are work hardening this wire and it becomes stiffer and stiffer and what will happen is you get a uh, spring back and these edges here, your spiral uh, layers won't, uh, won't stay together, they'll separate. So we're just going to, this is as big as we're going to make this with 18 gauge. So that's three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's about three times, three, three rotations. Okay, now we're just going to give that another little tap. And I'm going to flip this over 
because this is tapered so this is bigger than this one up here so I'm just gonna flip it over and just kind of bring that down a little bit just to kind of give it a little stretch there we go now we are on the nine there's my eight right there there's my nine okay now we're gonna wrap Okay, so we're just going to straighten out our wires, make sure our wires are nice and straight. And we're going to take our flat nose pliers to hold our spiral. We don't want to distort our spiral. We want to keep that intact while we wrap this around. So we're going to gently fold this over like so. Bring your end through, and I'm actually bringing it so that it's running, un it's running underneath the spiral. That will help keep. That will help keep this side um, close to my spiral. And we're just going to gently ease this wire through. Be gentle. We don't want to distort this. I'm going to take my chain nose now and I'm going to, I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this in my left hand and use my right hand. So see I just gently pulled on that and you can take and push that closer if you need to and I'm just going to kind of do a ratchet movement where I'm pulling and raising and that will bring it in tight but you don't want to cross your shank wires, okay? If you do get into trouble, then just go ahead and take your mandrel and slide that back on to help separate those. We're going to bow out our wire, bring it in, we have and now we're going to take our ring and put it back on our mandrel bring it down here's what we have so let's put it back on the mandrel and now what we're going to do is we're going to mark on our sides here about a quarter of an inch down from the spiral and that's our stopping point for our wraps because um, we don't want them to go down too too low because what will happen is they'll get down here and they'll bug your other fingers. Now we're going to do a quarter of an inch. Believe it or not, I did do a quarter of an inch, but when you start hammering this, it spreads it and it'll spread it down low. So let's, let's do about a quarter of an inch. And you could just eyeball this. It doesn't have to be a perfect measurement, but if you feel you need to, by all means, go ahead. So we're just going to go about a quarter of an inch from our spiral, from the spiral itself, not the, uh, the wraps. Okay, and just eyeball that. That looks even to me. Now we're going to start wrapping our shank. Okay, so holding our spiral like we did before for support, we're going to start wrapping our wire around our shank to above our mark. Not, don't go below that, okay? So we're going to do a nice wrap. Now remember, this is going to start um, work hardening, so we may need to ease our wire from back here. And just be gentle and deliberate with your movements. I can already feel my wires already starting to stiffen up. So see how I'm just just rotating that and getting that around my shank? Watch out you don't cross your shank wires.
Okay, so see, I'm right above my mark right there. I'm staying right there. Now let's do the other side. Okay, so here's what we have now. Now, look underneath here. See how that wire right there is a little loose, but the others are tight? Let's go in and go ahead and tighten that up. And then that will loosen up everything else, so we might have to adjust everything else. There, that's better. It's a little better. Okay. All right, so this is what we've got now. So let's go ahead and try to smooth out our wires. They don't have to be perfect, but we don't want them all mangled up like that if we can help it. Now, let me tell you what will happen here. If you make it nice and tight on it, you'll end up with it nice and even and close to the band. If you make it real loose, like a loose loop, when you hit that, it's going to spread, and you will end up with loops showing on the outside here that's not bad look if that's the look you're looking for okay so I'm going to try to just keep everything nice and nice and close and tight so let's go ahead and do this side okay so now we're wrapping we're wrapping towards our spiral back up towards our spiral and now our wire is really stiff so we want to just really be Ease that in there. Okay, we are going to wrap this up underneath and end our wire under the, under the ring, under the spiral, and we'll be cutting that off, and then we'll take our chain nose and we'll turn our end in so that it doesn't get pokey. All right, so that's what we end up with right for right now. We're not going to cut this wire yet because we need to stretch our ring, and we don't want to um, cut it too short and then when we stretch it the cut end could end up on the top it'll move so let's go ahead and do the other side So here's what we end up with. Now you can go in and you can adjust your loops, bring them in tighter. That one's got a little more separation to it. So if you want it to look more like what the other side looks like, okay, so now we're going to put it back on our ring mandrel. But first, we're going to cut off some of this excess wire here. And I'm going to cut it just even with this edge of the ring. This is going to move back some, so, but I don't want to deal with those long pieces. Okay, so here's what we end up with. Not very attractive, right? So let's go to step. Let's go to the next step. Okay, our next step is going to be to put it on our mandrel. Look, look how high up that jacked that up. 
that's like sitting on a six. That's because all of this wire is taking up space. So you can see right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down as far as we can. And now we're going to gently hit on it and bring it down. Flip it over. Now, just by my hitting this top part, it has moved it down to a seven and a half. So now we want to bring this down to a nine. Look at that. So this is what. This is what I do for my rings that I've never seen anybody else do before. Um, we're going to stretch this. We're going to bang this down with our mallet and stretch it. And what that does is that's going to strengthen and work hard in our shank and give it a really nice shape and give it uh, a really, really nice finish. So to do this, we're going to take our mallet and we're going to whip, 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 whip and we're going to catch the edge here on our ring and when we do that we're beating it down and we're not going to be gentle we're going to go for it so you're going to go all the way around so I just do this for one side and then we're going to take it off and we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing okay so here we go Now you can see that's moved that down to an eight now. If it gets stuck on, go ahead and give it a couple of taps on the top and you'll be able to remove it easy. So now we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Keep flipping it over as you work it because it's tapered. So this part stretches, this part doesn't. And do try it on as you get closer to your size because you'd be surprised. See how nice that looks? Beautiful. All right. Try this on. Okay, so that fits me perfect. Look how pretty that is. Very nice. Yep, that fits me perfect, and that ended up falling almost to the nine, about a quarter of an inch shy of the nine. So see, you can always stretch it. Can't make it can't make it uh, smaller, you can make it bigger. So when you start getting close to the size, try it on. And there we go. Now we're gonna take care of these ends that were on the underside. Now I can feel that one. So we're gonna flush cut the end. And then I'm gonna take my chain nose and I'm gonna take and just roll the, roll the end inward to hide it up inside there so that you don't have anything that's going to snag you. And now we're going to find the other one. It's right here. There's the end. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that end in. Just like that. There we go. Feel it for make sure you don't have anything sharp and then put it back on your mandrel. Give it some taps. Flip it.
There, look how cool that is. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So see how these are a little more closer together and this isn't so wide, but this one got a little wide. That's because my wire got really stiff and it was difficult for me to get it in close. You pretty much get what you get. There's really not a whole lot of control, but you can tweak it a little bit if you want to. You can come in here and just give that a little squeeze down to try and bring them in. There's our beautiful ring. What do you think? Pretty easy, eh? Do you like it? It's all antiqued and polished and really nice.